Here we're going to talk about discounts and markups. And so most of these problems are going to be having to do with selling something. So one of the questions will be something like, a store owner buys a dress for $50. But he's going to mark it up or increase the price by 90% and sell it at the marked up price because he wants to make a profit. So the question will be, if he marks it up 90%, what will the sales price be? So to find this out, you ask yourself, what is 90% of 50? So was is what, or what is what we're trying to figure out. Is means equals. 90%, you can't multiply percentages. You can only multiply decimals. So you need to change 90% into a decimal. If you don't know how to do that, watch the video on Facebook about percentages. So this is going to be 0.9 of means times 50. So to find the markup, you're going to take 90% times 50, or 0.9 times 50. And that turns out to be 45. So that's how much it's going to be marked up. So to find the final sales price, it's the original cost plus the markup equals the final selling price. So it's the original plus the markup gives the final sales price. All right, so if you encounter a problem that they're marking it up by a percentage, you just take the original price times the markup, and then to get the final price, you add it to what the original was. So this was the markup of 45, so 50 plus 45 is 95. That's how much it's going to sell for in the end. Now if you're talking about discounts, so that was when something was being marked up. If you're talking about discounts, so let's say we have this store owner. He is trying to sell that dress for $95. And it sits on the shelf and he can't sell it, so he's going to discount it by 90%. And they'll want to know what's what's the final selling price then if it's right now it's ninety five dollars but he's gonna put a sale price on it of ninety percent so you do the same thing ninety five times ninety percent remember that you can't multiply percentages you have to change that to a decimal so it's point nine if you plug that into your calculator you're gonna get eighty five fifty so that is the discount how much discount you're gonna get on this so to find the final selling price, you take the original minus the discount and you get the final price of nine dollars and fifty cents. So this dress that originally cost ninety five dollars, if it's on sale at ninety percent off, you're only going to pay nine dollars and fifty cents for it. So here you take the original minus the discount to get the final. So remember when we marked it up we had the original plus the markup. Here we have the original minus the discount so that kind of makes sense, right? You're going to add the markup, you're going to minus the discount in order to get the final sales price. The other type of problem you're going to see is when they're asking you for the percent of the markup or discount. And how you do that is going to be the same for either one. It's going to be the change over the original. So the change in the price over the original price. So let's say you have a bike um, that the owner buys for $150. He then sells it for $375. What is the percent 
markup. So to find the percent, you do change over original. So the change in the price, it went from 150 to 375. So the change is going to be 375 minus 150, which is 225. So the change, that's the change in the price, was $225. The original price was what he bought it for, which is $150. So the percent is going to be 225 divided by 150. If you plug that into your calculator, you're going to get 1.5. Now remember, this is a decimal. You're looking for a percent, so you need to change this to a percentage. The way you do that is move the decimal point over two spots, and you get 150%. So it's the change in the price over the original price, and then you just plug that into your calculator. You're going to get a decimal, which you need to change to a percent if they're asking you for a percentage. Let's do one where it's a discount. So let's say a table um, costs the owner $400. On sale, it costs $300. So he's selling it for three hundred dollars. What is the discount percent? So here we bought it for a certain price and is selling it for less. So what's the discount? But it's the same formula. What's the change in the price? It went from four hundred to three hundred. That's a change of one hundred dollars. What was the original price? It's always what the what the guy originally bought it for. So it's 400. So the change over the original is 100 over 400. You plug that into your calculator, you're going to get 0.25. That's a decimal, not a percentage. So as a percentage, it's 25%. So remember, it's always the change in the price over what the original price was. If you ever get a question about the percent of markup or discount.